Hello future engineers, this is part 5 of 2D frames is the last part and I hope that you can follow the solutions for you to develop your skills in statics or else you will live in your level. For the frame and loading shown, determine letter A, the reaction at C the force in member AD. So here is the given figure. Observe that in this frame we have two force, two members that are considered two force bodies, namely FAD and FBE. Considering the whole system, let's put the component reactions as shown by shown. So we set moment at F0, counterclockwise positive. So this is equal to C sub V times 1, then minus 450 times 2.75 times 3. So C sub V is equal to 1012.5 newtons and it is correct downward. Then R vertical equals 0, so obviously FV is upward and it is equal to 1012.5 newtons also. Then we draw the FBD of this portion as shown. Then let's just assume that FAD is compression and F B E is tension as shown because these are two first bodies. Extending the line of action of these two so that we can solve for either F A D or F B E but we are interested of F A D because it is required. They meet at G1 for line of action of F B E and this horizontal component of reaction at F. Also at G2 the line of action of F A D and F H then, by principle of transmissibility of a force, we can move FAD along its line of action at G2. The angle that FAD makes with the horizontal is arctan of 0.75 over 1. And that's called this distance B. So, 36.87 degrees. 36.87 degrees is arctan of this angle 0.75 over 1. Then, the Two components are horizontal and vertical, but we will not name the horizontal because we plan to take moment at G0. So this is FAD sign of 36.87 degrees. Actually, we don't need to solve for B because we plan to sum up moment at B. Then B can be cancelled. But anyway, let's just solve it. B as 2.75, B as 2, B as 2.75 equals B plus 1 as to 1.5, 0 0.75 plus 0 0.75. So B is 1 meter. So moment at G1 equals 0, summation moment G1 0, uh, clockwise positive. So we have FAD sine 36.87 degrees, the vertical component of FAD times 1 or times b because we sum up moments here then minus plus fv which is 1012.5 times also b cancel out b so fad sine of 36.87 plus 1012.5 so fad is negative 1687.5 newton so it is not Compression, it is tension. So we now answer FAD, 1,687.5 newtons. That's the force in member AD. And it is tension. Next is we need FH. So let's go back to this free body diagram. We sum up moment about E0. So moment E0, clockwise positive. So we have equals FH times 0.75. Then plus the vertical component passes to A, no moment. The horizontal component is also clockwise. So consider FAD, its original value is negative. Take note, uh, FAD is not changed. So the horizontal component is plus negative 1687.5 cosine of 36.87 times 0.75. So can cancel out 0.75, so FH is positive. So it is correct, it is leftward, 1350 newtons. 
Then we consider the entire system, our horizontal zero. So equal CH450 plus CH minus FH, which is 1350. So CH is 900 and C sub V is 1012. We can now compute the, the magnitude of the reaction at C, square root of 900 square plus 1012.5 square directed down to the right. So the magnitude of the pin rea reaction at C is 1355 newtons and it is directed down to the right at an angle of R tan of 1012.5 over 900 to the horizontal. And theta C is 48.37 degrees. Therefore, R sub C is 13.55 newtons down to the right at 48.37 degrees to the horizontal. Members A, B, C, and C, D, E are pin connected at C and supported by four links. By four links. For the loading shown, determine the force in each link. So let's load the FPD. These are two force body, bodies, A, F, B, G, D, G, because these are short links, no load in between the smooth pins. So for the FPD of the portion A, B, C, so let's assume F, A, F as compression, F, B, C as compression, and two component reactions at C. Then the line of actions of F, B, G, and F, A, F meet at G1 because this angle is 45, 45, so distance A above A. And these are the component reactions at C. The angle is 45 degrees for these two. So that's why that's also A. Then on the other side, uh, let's assume, so action reaction, oppositely directed, then FDG to be in compression and FEH to be in tension. Their lines of action meet at J2 and this distance is A because that's 45 degrees also. So in the left free body diagram, we set moment J1 equals zero. So these two forces are not involved. So CH counterclockwise positive CH times A plus C sub V times 2A minus P times A. Cancel out A, so CH plus 2 C sub V equals P. Call that equation 1. Then in this right free body diagram, MJ2 equals 0. Clockwise positive, so we have CH times A equals CH times A minus C sub V times 2A. Cancel out A, so that means CH is equal to 2 C sub V. Substitute in equation 1, 2 C sub V plus 2 C sub V equals P. So that means C sub V is P over 4. And CH is 2 times P over 4. So 2 times P over 4 is P over 2. So that's the value of CH. Going back to the left FBD, R horizontal equals 0. So CH, which is P over 2, equals P over 2 minus FBG sine or cosine of 45 degrees. So from here, we can now solve FBG and its assumed force or stress is correct. It is compression. So FBG is square root of 2 over 2 P or compression. Then R vertical equals 0 in this left FPD. So equals FAF plus FBG, which is square root of 2 over 2P sine of 45, then minus P plus C sub V, which is P over 4. So solving for FAF, if it is positive, it's correct that it is also compression. FAF is equal to P over 4 compression. Going back here, R horizontal equals 0, this free body diagram here. So negative CH, negative P over 2 equals negative P over 2 plus FDG cosine of 45 degrees. So FDG is positive, so the assumed uh, stress that it is in compression is correct. FDG is also square root of 2 over 2P compression. 
Finally, R vertical equals zero in this free body diagram. So we have negative CV, which is negative B over four, plus FDG, square root of two over two P, sine of 45, minus FEH. So FEH is positive, P over four, so it is tension as, as uh, shown in the FVD. Four beams, each of length 3A, are held together by single nails at A, B, C, and D. Each beam is attached to a support located at the distance A from an end as shown the figure. Assuming that only vertical force are exerted at the connections, determine the vertical reactions at E, F, G, and H. So let's draw FVD of each of the four beams as guide in our solution. So this is A, e, A, F, and B. So we have reaction at F. We have B on at the end A. Then because there is nail here, then the reaction in the nail is denoted, force in the nail is denoted by FA, which is vertical. Also at B, there's a nail. So let's assume it is downward FB. Next is A, E, D. So... From A to E, that's 2A. F to B, that's 2A. Because it is mentioned that from its support to end, the distance is A. So we have RE upward and action-reaction. So FA is upward here. So in, on the next FBD, it should be downward. This is D, so let's assume downward FD. Next, we have... B, G, C. B, G, C. So A from reaction at G to A from C. So let us, because from action reaction principle, FB is downward here. So here it should be upward. And let's just assume that FC is upward. There's no problem with that. RG is also upward. As long as the static equation is correct. Then finally, we have DHC. So FD is downward here. So on DHC, it should be upward. Then RH, the reactions are assumed to be all upward. Distance from D to H is A to A. And this must be A. Because FC is upward here, in the other member, DHC, it's downward. So that's the free body diagram of the four beams. And by principle, they are correctly the forces are correctly applied. So first, let's consider AED. We set moment at D0 to find relationship between FA and RE. So we have equals RE times A minus FA times 3A. So that means FA is, cancel out A, RE over 3. We proceed to DHC. Then we set moment at D0. So counterclockwise positive equals RH times 2A minus FC times 3A. Cancel out A, so F sub C is 2 thirds of RH. Then next is we proceed to BGC. Set moment at B0 here. So RG equals RG times A plus F sub C times 3A. Cancel out A, so that means FC is negative RG over 3. Or RG plus FC and FC is 2 thirds RH times 3. So we establish relationship between the reactions RG and RH as RG plus 2 RH equals 0. So that's an important relationship for the uh, vertical reactions. Then back to uh, go, let's proceed to AFB, set moment at B0, clockwise positive, so equals RF times 2A minus plus FA times 3A minus P times 3A. Cancel out A, so 
and replace FA which is RE over 3. So 2RA plus FA which is so 3 times FA, FA is RE over 3 from this equation and minus 3P. So simplify 2RF plus RE equals 3P. That's also an important relationship for the reactions. Then we sum up forces vertical for the whole system. So RE plus RF plus RG plus RH equals downward force P. Then we need one more equation because there are only three equations here and there are four unknowns. Let's go back to AED. We set R vertical zero. So we have RE equals FA plus FD where FA is RE over 3 and FD is just FD. So RE equals RE over 3, which is FA plus FD. So that means FD is negative, FD is two-thirds of RE, rather. Then back to the HC, then R vertical equals 0 in the HC. So we have RH plus FD plus FC equals 0. Substitute the value of FD which is 2 thirds RE and FC which is 2 thirds RH. So RH plus FD which is 2 thirds RE, that one. Then FC is 2 thirds RH. So my plus 2 thirds of RH. So, RH plus 2RE equals 0. So, here RH plus FD minus FC equals 0. So that's why FC is replaced by 2 thirds of RH. So the, we have RH over 3 plus 2 thirds RE equals 0. Multiply everything by 3 so it reduces to RH plus 2 RE equals 0. So RH equals negative 2 RE. Then substitute in this equation here because RE is equal to RG is equal to negative 2 RH so we have negative 2 RH and RH is negative 2 RE so that means RG is 4 RE then substitute everything here in terms of RE RF RF is 1.5 B minus 0.5 RE so RE plus RF, which is RF is 1.5 P, 3 P over 2 minus 1 half of RE or 0.5 of RE. Then plus RG, which is 4 RE, plus RH, which is negative 2 RE, then equals P. So substitute everything here in terms of RE. Then we can now solve for RE. RE minus 0.5 RE plus 4 RE minus 2 RE is 2.5 RE. Then P minus 1.5 B is negative 0.5 of B. So that means RE is negative 1 over 5 of B or negative B over 5. Because it is negative, it is downward. So our final answer for RE is P over 5 downward. As shown. Then RF is 1.5 B minus 0.5 RE. So 1.5 of B minus 0.5 of negative B over 5. RF is positive 8 over 5 B. So it is upward. RG is 4 times negative B over 5. So RG is negative 4. RG is 4 times negative B over 5. So it is 4 over 5 downward. So I just put it here directly because we ran out of space 
And anyway, this is the this is RG four RE four times negative B over five. So negative four over five B or four P over five downward. And finally, this is R RH negative two of negative B over five. So it is positive two over five. So it is upward. RH is two fifths of B upward. So that's it for this problem. So determine the horizontal and vertical components of the reactions at A and B of the frame shown below. Each of the stationary pulleys at D and E is 800 mm in diameter and the weights of the pulleys and members are to be neglected. So observe that this member BC and AC are perpendicular to each other because of the angles given 30 degrees, 60 degrees and therefore that's 90 degrees. So for the components, let's assume the direction shown AH and A vertical at B, uh, BH to the left and BV vertical. So therefore, this is 3.6 cosine of 30, this distance here, because this is a right triangle, hypotenuse cosine of 30 is 1.8 square root of 3. Again, this is 3.6 cosine 30. The opposite Distance BC is 3.6 sine 30, so that's 1.8 meters. Then next, this horizontal distance is 1.8 sine 60, so that is 0.9 square root of 3 meter. While this vertical distance from A to C, vertical distance is 1.8 square root of 3 sine of 30, so that's 1.8 square root of 3 sorry, 1.8 square root of 3 cosine of 30, that's 2.7 meters. Again, this vertical distance is in this right triangle, hypotenuse 1.8 square root of 3 times cosine of 30, so 2.7 meters. Then this distance is 0.6 because the angle here is 60 like that. 0.6 sine of 60, use your calculator, is 0.3 square root of 3 meter. And because the radius is 0.4, and this is the center of this smaller pulley, this is 0.4, so vertical horizontal distance tether is 0.2. That horizontal distance, half of 0.4, is 0.2 meter. So I think all the distances are, give, are ready. We can now consider the entire system set moment B0 to solve for AH. So counterclockwise positive. So equals AH times 3.6. Then minus 10 kilonewtons. The distance is quantity 0.9 square root of 3 plus 0.3 square root of 3 plus 0.2. So minus 10 times 0.9 square root of 3 plus 0.3 square root of 3 plus 0.2. So we can now solve EH. EH is 6.329 kilonewtons rightward. Then for the vertical, BH is also 6.329, but it is leftward, considering the entire system summation forces horizontal zero. So there's no need to set up the equation rightward equals leftward, so they are equal. Next is, we draw the free body diagram of this part. So the distance 2.7.9 square root of 3, that is C. These are the component reactions at C. The tension here is, because this is 10, so 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. So that's why the tension here is 5 kilonewtons. We only need the horizontal distance of 5 from C. So the horizontal distance of 5 from C is the radius of pulley plus this distance, which is 0 0.6 sine of 60 or 0 0.3 square root of 3. So this distance is, again, the radius of pulley, 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 square root of 3. This is also 0 0.3 square root of 3, just like this, 0 0.3 square root of 3. So 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 square root of 3. So we set moment C0. So clockwise positive equals AV times 0 0.9 square root of 3 
plus 5 times quantity 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 square root of 3. Then minus 6.329 times 2.7. From here, we can solve AV. A sub V is equal to 8.012 kilonewtons upward. Finally, for B sub V, consider the entire system R vertical equals 0. Summation forces vertical equals 0. So that is equal to B sub V plus AV, which is 8.012 minus 10 kilonewtons. Whole system. So B sub V is 1.988 kilonewtons upward. So that's it for this second to the last problem. For the last problem, four beams, each of length 2A, are nailed together at their midpoints to form the support system shown, assuming that only vertical forces are exerted at the connections, determine the vertical reactions at A, D, E, and H. So the reactions, vertical reactions there. So again, the technique is to draw FBD of the four beams and make relationship for the reactions and the forces until such time that you can establish four equations for the reactions and express each reaction into just one reaction so that we can solve for that reaction. So this is the free body diagram of AFB. So take note that P is on EFG. So its reaction only is the for force in the nail at F. So A, so we have RA. B, we have FB, force in the nail. Then at F, we have only force in the nail because P is bearing on EFG, not on AF, ABF. So for e, EFG, so that's why we have P here. So we have RE, reaction at E, then P downward, then the force in the nail at F, reaction force, then force at G. So let's just assume upward also. But you have to apply action reaction when we draw free body diagram, especially for for the adjacent member. Next is C G H. So at H we have reaction at H. At G we have force in the nail. So since in E F G it is upward, so here it's downward now at G. Then we have F C. Let's just assume upward force in the nail at C for this member. Finally, B, C, D. So F, B was upward in A, E, B, F. So it's now downward here in B, C, D. Then F, C, F, C upward in C, G, H. So it's now downward in B, C, D. Then this is reaction at D, which is always assumed upward. So let's begin with the free body diagram of ABF. We set moment at F0 from the figure R clockwise positive. So RA times 2A plus FB times A. So equal 0. Cancel out A. So that means FB is negative 2RA. So that's the relationship. FB is negative 2RA. We then proceed to CGH, this free body diagram here, we set moment at C0, counterclockwise positive, so we have RH times 2A equals RH times 2A, then minus FG times A. So the relationship FG equals 2RH after we cancel out A. Then we proceed to member BCD, set moment at C also 0. So we have RD times A plus FB times A. Cancel out A, so that means FB is negative RD. Then we have negative in this relation because FB is negative to RA. And therefore, uh, FB is negative to RD here, from here and equals negative to RA. So 
this is an important relationship. Rd is 2RA. Express all reactions in terms of RA. So that we can see it easily. So I box it with blue. Back to, go back to, we proceed to EFG. Set moment at F0. So clockwise positive equals RE times A minus FG times A. So that means FG is RE. But FG is also to RH. So RE, replace FG here by RE, and it is equal to 2RH. So that's an important relationship. So back to CGH, we set moment G0, or summation versus Y if you want. But let's just moment G0. So we have counterclockwise positive equals RH times A minus FC times A. So that means F sub C is RH. Then in BCD here, set moment at B0 because we already have moment at C0 in BCD before. So RD times 2A, counterclockwise positive, minus FC times A. So that means F sub C is 2RD. Then equating so that RH is 2RD from this relationship. So we have established three equations. So since RD from here is 2RA, so RH is 2 times RD and RD is 2RA from this relationship. So RH is 4RA. So RE, RH is 4RA, RD is 2RA. So we have RH and RD in terms of RA. So RE, RE left in terms of RA. So we have here in ABF, ABF, set moment at F, moment at B0, we already have moment F0. So clockwise positive RA times A plus FF times A. So that means FF is negative RA. Then in EFG, moment at G0, so we have clockwise positive RE times 2A plus FF times A minus P times A. Cancel out A, so 2RFF is P minus 2RE. So that is FF. Then replace FF by negative RA here. So negative RA equals P minus 2RE. So that means RE is RE is P over 2 or 0.5P plus RA over 2 or 0.5RA. So RE is 0.5B plus 0.5RA. So it's now complete. So last equation is consider whole system R vertical zero or summation forces vertical zero. So we have RA plus RD plus RE plus RH equals P, downward force. So RA remains RA. RD in terms of RA is... 2RA, RE is quantity, so 2RA plus 0.5P plus 0.5RA, then RH is 4RA. Or actually, the easier relationship because RE is 2RH and RH is 4RA, then RE is supposedly 8 of RA. So if this is 8 of RA, we get the same result. But anyway, we have already established this, so let's just use this. 
RA plus 2 RA is 3 RA plus 0 0.5, 3 0.5 RA, 7 0.5 RA, then P minus 0 0.5 is 0 0.5 B. 7 0.5 RA equals 0 0.5 B. If this is 8 RA, because RE is 2 RH and RH is 4 RA, then if this were 2 8 RA, then we have 1 plus 2, 3 plus 8, 11 plus 4, 15 RA equals P. So, therefore, RA is P over 15. This one also, RA is 0 0.5 over 7.5. That's also P over 15. So, it's the same. So, RA, therefore, is P over 15. This is RD, 2 times P over 15. So, 2 over 15 RD upward because RA is positive. Then, this is supposedly 8 RA or 0.5 B plus 0.5 of B over 15. So, we expect if this were 8 RA is 8 over 15 P. This will also give us 8 over 15 P for RA. So, right. And finally, this is RH 4 times P over 15, so 4P over 15 upward also. So RH is 4P over 15. So I hope that you were able to follow the solutions. So it's a bit complicated, but what is important is you set up four equations relating the reactions do not forget the whole system summation versus y as one of the equations. Then the rest would be algebra or simultaneous equations, but not that difficult.